gang, welcome back to the channel. We got a new project today, and as you can see, I got stuff for the trailer. So, stick with us. I'm gonna go ahead and install this stuff. First, I'm gonna sweep everything out, and then uh, get the sled out, and then prepare the floor by getting the stuff off the floor as far as the current rail holders and um, tie downs that are there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up the new stuff. We got ski guides, we got track grips, and we got Super Clamp 2 tie down bars. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the alert bell. You can come on back, check out what we got going on. Like I said, we're always doing something. Don't forget to smash that like button. Always appreciate that, guys. So let's get into it. All right, so first thing I gotta do is get this sled out of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up, and then I'm gonna open that door up. sweeping up for the minute. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these old anchors out. Looks like most of them are 7 16 So we're gonna go ahead and use that. There's a couple that are 10 mil. because I still have, I still got that on. So that aluminum right there really sucks the heat right out of my hand, out of my thumb there. So I keep it in here, keeps it warm, and uh, keeps the blood flowing. Because when the blood's flowing, you're bringing nutrients to the, to the uh, wound, that helps it to heal better. Okay, so. Pretty much all you're gonna need. It's got all the hardware included in the boxes. I got me a drill, drill bit to hold the bit that's in there, and then a utility knife. It's got all the hardware in there, so I'm gonna start opening up the boxes. I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and put the grips and ski guides on this front door. That way I can go ahead and close that up and it'll stop the wind from whipping through here. Cause it's, yeah, it's like, and I know I'm not dressed very warm, but you know, I got my Arctic Cat Trail Riders hat on, I got my hoodie, I got my little, uh, it's actually pretty cool. And that works pretty well. I mean, I could wear this, but I like to wear it around my neck and represent Arctic Cat Trail Riders, so. There we go, baby. <laughs> Go check out the Facebook group. Owner is Mike Miller, great guy, knows tons about Arctic Cats. He's a Thundercat guru, so if you guys got any questions about that stuff, for sure, head over there. If I can't answer it, so make sure you ask your questions here first. All right, so let's get some of the stuff open. All right, so these are the tracks grips. This is what the track rides over to get grip going up and down. There is a direction 
So it's going to grab onto this side. You're not really going to be able to grab too much on that side. So it's got arrows on there and it's got all the hardware right there. Got your screws. Looks like your bits in there as well. Oh, that's nice. All right. So this bag ripped open. Ripped open from the bottom. Not a good start, caliber. <laughs> Just joking. So there's two pieces here. You can cut them down the middle. Part of me was thinking about cutting them down the middle and just staggering them. Okay, so with these you have your spacers and screws and the spacers go on each end so they can expand and contract. It says you want a 3 8 inch gap between the ends. You can punch out these inserts right here because they have some that are pre-cut. You have your center and pre-cut. Center, center, pre-cut, pre-cut, pre-cut. So if you cut a piece like this, you know, or wherever you want to cut it, then you'll have one center one and then two to be able to keep it down and still expand and contract. But yeah, those will do real good. And the reason being is you have these knobs so your, your boots aren't gonna slip on them. everything so I'm gonna go ahead and start laying all this stuff out and then like I said I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get everything tacked down on the front ramp there Here's the first ramp. I had to take this plate off that was right there, but yeah, folds over. So I'm gonna close that up for now. I still have those two little center pieces, but I'm not gonna do those until I know that I have everything else taken care of. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this up and then bring the uh, heater in here and start warming it up. Well guys, uh, I had to take a break to go get my wife from work and um, it's starting to get really cold. <laughs> it's really cold out. <laughs> but, made some upgrades. Got light, light, heat. That front door is done, so I'm going to bang this back door out real quick. Um, unfortunately, stupid me, I left my stinking stand in between the door and the frame. And I buttoned everything up, went to go close, and all of a sudden I hear pop! Oh, what the heck was that? First, it sounded like it came from the, uh, the hinge area. And technically it did, but it was over in the corner where that stinking stand was. And so it busted it down to the bottom. It was already kind of busted, but yeah, pretty much uh, sealed the deal. Last nail in the coffin on that one, so to speak. So, <laughs> But uh, I got my trusty ladder here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and set you guys up. And then um, I'm going to bang out this door here. And then I'm going to close it up and let the heat do its thing. We'll have light in here and it should be good to go. 
get this finished. There's a pro tip on how to warm your gloves up. Oh yeah, nice and toasty. <laughs> So I'm gonna put these spacers in. What I got down as far as the ski guides go. And then you notice that they're oval and that's so the track can expand on the ends. So it'll stay fixed in the middle. The ski guides, I'm sorry. It'll stay fixed in the middle and then it'll like expand outward either way. And then this allows the uh, material to expand within that Amount. That's why you have to put them three eighths of an inch apart. All right, that's it. For this door for now, I'm gonna make sure I have enough um, stuff for up in the trailer. This will get us up in there. But yeah, it's tons of grip. But uh, just so you guys know, those little red pieces there, they allow, them, like I said, they allow the material to move back and forth with expansion and contraction. So that's what those are for. It is cold cold than it was gosh it, it had to have dropped like 15 degrees I mean my I am free my body's good my head's good this thing's amazing and my hoodie of course but uh I have like body armor under a body armor on under <laughs> my stuff here and that helps out a ton too all right we'll see you guys in a minute Bye. <laughs> oh. There we go. Ooh, time to warm my fingers back up. Oh, they are so cold. Oh, they're freezing. Holy cow, man. Are they getting warm? Yeah. Had the kids put the screws in their pocket <laughs> and then I got them all down here so yeah we'll see all right I'm gonna warm up my hands a little bit and uh, I'm gonna come back and bang the rest of this out if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel don't forget to subscribe hit the alert bell or you guys can come on back check what we got going on always doing something here don't forget to smash the like button always appreciate that I'll see you guys in a few minutes
Thank you very much, you two. It's my crew, my soldiers. <laughs> take too long to put all the screws in so now I'm just gonna well I don't even know if this battery will last long enough but okay that's all the track scrubbers so Time to start on the outside. And then one thing that I noticed, I put the, the ski guides a little too wide on this front part. So I'm gonna bring those in as well. Alright guys, it was a little bit of a job, um, but we got a most we got everything done. I kind of ran out. I thought I had more. I thought I calculated to where I was going to have more, but clearly I didn't. Uh, I think what I didn't take into account was that I was going to be putting some... Uh, I thought I did though. I thought I measured to the end of the ramps, of the doors. So... Oh well, didn't have enough, uh, but not a big deal. Really the only thing, you know what I did is I think I, I didn't calculate making um, like curves, so. But that's it. Some people may have done it differently, but like right here, um, 
I'm going to end up getting more eventually. I mean, we'll see how that works. I mean, it seems like it's fine. And then I, I think I'm going to end up making a block for there. I do have one extra piece. I'm gonna, I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a block set up to where, like out of two by sixes or something, that fits right in that step. And then I'm going to put a piece of the, the ski guide over it, you know, zip it down. So that way we can just drop it in there and then drive the skis out and not have to worry about tearing that whole step up and then going from there. But yeah, it's good to go. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put these super clamps in, but what I wanna do is I wanna pull a snowmobile up here first and see exactly where it's gonna fit. junk out of there. Oh yeah, like a glove, baby. Looks right in. guys that is it for the video i hope you enjoyed it uh yeah it's uh, a little bit of a task a lot of screws there's 20 screws per Trax grabber and i got like 30 of them <laughs> and then there's six screws per 30 inch uh ski guide and these are the uh grip glides so they're not going to go low pro grip, grip glides so but yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, if you like this kind of stuff, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the alert bell. That way you guys are notified on your mobile devices. That's why I always say that. So um, if you don't do that, then you're typically not notified. So it's definitely important if you want to keep up to date on the channel and all the videos and series that we have going on. So don't forget to smash the like button. I always appreciate that. So you guys take care. God bless. And we'll see you in the next video.